problem eight. Use the diagram below to answer questions A to C. Um, and we're going to focus on a uh, couple of specific coordinates. So we're going to be focused on the school. We're going to be focused on Caleb's house. Caleb lives here. We're going to be focused on Malik's house. Malik lives here. And we'll be focused on Bill, who lives here. So that's the only information we're using in this problem. First question, determine the, the distance between Caleb's house and the school. So here's Caleb at 18 comma four and the school at 17 comma, oh boy, 19. I hope I did this problem right. Yeah, I did, looking good. Here we go. Okay, so here's a little sketch with the school here and Caleb's house here. Um, and I'm actually doing the path from school to Caleb. So to get from school to Caleb, um, we need to go down from 19 to four. So that's down 15 units, that's here. Then we need to go right from 17 to 18. So that's right only one unit. So we have 15 square is 225 plus one square is one, 225 plus one, 226, that's C squared. So then C equals square root of 226. Um, and we could come back to breaking down square root of 226, but um, we're gonna get to the last question which says, uh, who lives closest to the school? And we would like to be comparing these answers under the radical because they're easy to compare. So we'll just leave this as um, distance equals square root of 226 units and see if that's good enough. Uh, now we go to question B. So now determine the distance between Malik's house and the school. And here's a sketch of Malik's house and the school. Malik lives here at three comma one, going to school here. So we need to go up from y equal one to y equal four. So that's up three. Need to go right from x equal three to x equal 18. So that's right 15. So now we have c squared equals three squared plus 15 squared. This is nine plus 225. This is 234. So that means that c is, take the square root of both sides, c is the square root of 234. And then again, we could work on this 234, um, but this, and I did work on it over here. 234 is the same as two times 117. 117 is the same as nine times 13. So we have two times nine times 13. That nine is three times three. And then two times 13, I put that back together as 26 because we can't get any duplicates out of 26. So then three times three, three can come out and we have three times the square root of 26 as this distance from Malik's house to the school. But again, that's not that important in this question because we're gonna compare this distance with this distance. And so far we see that Caleb lives closer than Malik because the square root of 226 is less than the square root of 234. Okay, let's do one more and we will be done, baby. Okay. Item C, determine the distance from Bill's house to the school. So here's a sketch for Bill. Bill lives at 10 comma six. To go up to 19, y equal 19, he needs to go up 13 units. And to go right to x equals 17 from x equal 10, he needs to go right seven units. So we have the distance squared equals 13 squared plus seven squared. The distance squared equals 169 plus 49. 
the distance squared equals 218. Then that distance must be the square root of 218. And now we can see that Bill lives the closest because his distance is square root of 218 units. Malik lives the farthest because his distance is the square root of 234 units. And then, who's our other character here? Caleb. Caleb is in the middle at square root of 226 distance. Uh, 220, square root of 226 units. You did it. You did it. You did it. You did it. You're done. Great job.